Please welcome your host, Dion Taylor. Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. Have you ever been in a situation where you needed to restore a row that you or any of your end users have deleted? We were never able to do that out of the box. However, now with a new preview feature, which is called Recycle Bin, we're gonna be able to do that. Let me show you how it all works. So in order to try this Recycle Bin feature, the first thing that you'll have to do is enable this preview. And you can do that by logging into the Power Platform Admin Center, then navigating to Environments, and then you're gonna open the environment for which you wanna turn this on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click here on Settings. Then I'm gonna expand the product section over here, and then I'm gonna click on features. And then you'll need to scroll all the way down. And here you can see uh, the recycle bin preview feature that you can turn on directly from within here. Now, unfortunately, when you turn this on, you just turn this on for all of the Dataverse tables. We can't pick and choose for which tables we want to enable this. I'm kind of keeping my fingers crossed that maybe that's coming, but I don't know. I'm, I can only hope for that, right? Then what you see below here is the recovery time interval. And you can see here that it says it's up to 30 days. Now, this setting is actually going to determine up to how many days we will be able to restore these deleted rows. So you can see I have it set here to 30. Now that it, it's turned on, we can go back here to the settings area. And of course, make sure you save that as well, right? Once you make those changes, we're going to go back to settings. Then I'm going to go here to data management. And here you can see the view deleted records preview. So once you click on that, that will take you here inside of uh, a Dataverse uh, app, I almost wanna say, but we're not really in an app, as you can see. Uh, this is just showing you all of the deleted records. You can see uh, there's no other views here. There's also no ability for me to filter or to add columns to this view. This is really all that we have to work with, but I kind of wanted to go over some of these columns that you see here. So first of all, you see display name, and this is kind of showing you the table name and then the name of the record. And in this particular case, right, uh, this is a uh, non-existing person. This is actually from the TV show, The Office, so you might recognize that. Then the regarding object ID, I'm not sure what that is. That was blank for most of the records that I was deleting, or the rows, I should say the deleted object. So this is the actual row that was deleted. And I can click on that, but that's just gonna tell me like uh, it's not there, right? Because guess what? It was deleted, right? Makes sense. Then you have deleted by and then deleted by delegate. Now I'm gonna tell you what the difference is here. Um, you could actually have configured these cascading roles, right? So that when a record is deleted, the related records might also get del deleted. So think about, right, you can have an account record for which you have that cascading relationship configured. So that means that when I delete the account record, then other records like uh, appointments or contacts or opportunities or cases, all of those will also be deleted. However, the reason that those are deleted is because of that cascade delete configuration, right? That we might have in the system. So if that happens, you'll actually see here that it shows deleted by and then the actual system uh, account. So you'll, I'll show you that in a second. And then deleted by is really the person that initiated that delete. So if I deleted that account, right? And then the context and the opportunities and whatever else was also deleted. Um, I actually initiated that to get that deletion going, so to speak. And then lastly, we can also see when this particular record was deleted. So you can kind of see that over here uh, as well. Now I can drill into um, this display name and that's just taking me inside of this deleted record reference, right? So I can see here again that 
uh, the Dwight Schrute record was deleted. And then we can also see total records eight. I'm assuming that this might, as you can see here, these are the total impacted records, right? That happened with that deletion. So I'm guessing that those might be uh, other related records, maybe activities or something like that. Now let's just go ahead. Let me just show you. Um, oh, I don't know what this is. Shared workspace that also got deleted. Uh, but let me show you what I'm talking about because I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to delete an account that actually has some related records to that as well. So here we are in the sales hub. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the ABC account. But before I do that, I want to show you that we have um, also, as you can see here, a, a call that is related to this account. We also have a note related to this account. We have a contact related to this account. And then if I scroll down here, we also have an opportunity related to this account as well. So all of those things will also be deleted because I have that cascading rule uh, enabled for accounts, right? So let's just go ahead and say, I'm going to go delete. I'm going to hit delete. And then again, what you'll see is that, right, Tim that we had earlier, as you can see, is gone, is now deleted. So let me now go back here to those deleted items so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to go hit refresh. So you can see here a couple of different things that are happening. I'm not sure what this shared workspace is that all appeared, um, but you can see here that the account was deleted. And then I have two things that say activity party. So what I'm guessing is this is actually related to that phone call that you saw earlier and that note that was related to that ABC account. Now I cannot go in here and say, Hey, just restore that particular activity party. Cause again, I'm just getting that error. I can also, as you can see, I can't go in here and restore that contact or that opportunity because we just don't see it. Right. The only thing we did see is those, the note and the call that was deleted, as you can see here by the system because of that cascading role. Now, if I click here on restore, even though I cannot restore that related opportunity or that related contact, if I now restore the ABC account, it will also restore all of those related items as well. Let me show you that. So I'm going to go back to accounts and here we are. ABC account is back. My call is back. My note is back. And here we have that primary contact that's back. And lastly, my opportunity is back as well. Now, one more thing that I wanted to mention that I found on the learn.microsoft uh, website is that if your organization actually has added custom logic to delete records, so by using plugins uh, and stuff like that, then you actually need to apply the opposite logic on that restore operation to recover the rows when you restore the original row that was deleted. So keep that in mind as well. Pretty cool feature, right? I can't wait for this to go GA. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.